Hey, welcome back. I'm Jason Helfen, and today you're joining me on a trip into the Mississippi River backwaters where I'm chasing some early August panfish, crappies and bluegills. Now while you're here today, what I'm going to do is show you one of the new features of iPilot Link, and that is our ability to use the Hummerbird Fish Finder to record an eye track. You know, ever since the first generation of iPilot was released several years ago, anglers have wanted to have the ability to record a track without having their trolling motor deployed at the same time. Maybe they wanted to record a high-speed trolling pass or something like that and then come back and fish it later after the track has been recorded or had some other reason for not wanting to have their trolling motor deployed while they were recording a track. Well now, with iPilot Link, because the Minn Kota trolling motor has become fully integrated with the Humminbird Fish Finder, it's possible to use your Humminbird Fish Finder to record what is called an eye track. Now while I'm recording the eye track, the only propulsion I'm going to have is going to be from my main outboard. My Tarova with iPilot Link is going to be stowed up there in the bow. The Tarova is not going to be used at all to record the eye track if I'm using the Humminbird Fish Finder to do so. Now once the eye track is recorded, I'll go ahead and, and deploy my Tarova and use my Tarova with iPilot Link to follow that recorded track. Now to record an eye track with the Humminbird Fish Finder, what I'll do from this particular view is hit menu twice. When I hit menu twice, all of the menu tabs will appear. And what I want to do is select the navigation tab. I've selected navigation. I'm going to scroll down to record eye track and arrow right. Now we're using the Humminbird Fish Finder to record the eye track. You'll see while the eye track is recording a little alert message that displays at the very top of the fish finder display. IT0001, so this is the first eye track that we're recording on this particular Humminbird fish finder. The track that we're recording is displayed in red. The start position is there in green. Now when I've come to the end of the track that I want to record, I'll just go ahead and hit the menu button once. That will bring up the express menu for this particular view. And the very first option there is stop recording eye track. So I, that's what I want. I'm going to arrow to the right. They get a little confirm box there to ask me if I'm sure that I want to that I want to stop recording it. And the answer is yes. Now to follow that recorded eye track, I need to go ahead and deploy my uh, my Tarova with iPilot Link on it up here in the bow. Now with my eye track recorded and my Tarova with iPilot Link deployed up there in the bow, I'm going to tell iPilot Link that I'd like it to go back and follow eye track number one so I can spend some of my time fishing the bank. Now one way to tell iPilot Link to go and follow a recorded eye track is to use the Humminbird Fish Finder. Now to do so, you can see my current position here, the orange little circle. Here's the end of the recorded eye track, that yellow dot. What I'd like to do is have iPilot bring me back to the end of that recorded track and then follow that recorded track back to the beginning. So I'm going to use the four-way arrow key. I'm going to cursor over to the end of that recorded eye track and press go to. Now when I go, the iPilot link knows that I want to go to that eye track and it's asking me if I want to navigate back to the start of the eye track or navigate to the end. Well of course since I'm starting at the end I want to navigate back to the start. That's what I'm going to select. Now my Tarova is turning but there's no boat movement yet because I haven't turned the prop on. So I'm going to use the iPilot link remote to turn the prop on. And now we're navigating from my current position back to the end of the recorded eye track. And once we hit the end of the recorded eye track, iPilot link will follow it all the way back to the beginning. Now one thing you'll notice is the projected course that iPilot link has plotted. That projected course is shown as the bright yellow line. So it, uh, iPilot link calculates a course from my initial position back to the end of the recorded eye track. 
and then you'll see that the recorded eye track has changed color from red, which indicates eye track, to yellow, which is the course that uh, iPile Link is going to follow now as it goes from the end back to the beginning of the recorded eye track. Now we're approaching the end of the recorded eye track. iPilot has followed it all the way from the end back to the beginning. As we near the end of the eye track, you probably hear that alarm in the background. That's iPilot telling me that we've arrived at the beginning of the recorded eye track and the propeller has turned off. Now with iPilot Link doing the navigating, there's really nothing left to do but fish. Be sure to come back soon to learn more about iPilot Link and how you can use it to help catch more fish.